Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing great. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the Pokemon Classic games potentially coming to the Nintendo Switch and maybe a little sooner than we think. But before we get into today's video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you would like to. Earlier this week, we had a Nintendo Direct that went over a bunch of games that are coming out in 2023. Really exciting Direct, so hopefully you enjoyed it if you did catch it. But one of the big takeaways from this Nintendo Direct was the information, the news dropping, that we now have the Game Boy and Game Boy Advance available on the Switch Online service. Now with this announcement, it does lead to a lot of questions. Of course, we've got Pokemon Day coming up later this month on the 27th of February, and we have speculations going on at the minute about Pokemon Stadium 1 and 2. that have already been announced as coming to the Switch Online for the N64 port. Uh, but when that is going to happen, we don't know. As I say, the speculation is round that they'll get announced on Pokemon Day potentially. But this leads to another question with the announcement of the Game Boy coming to the Nintendo Switch with the Game Boy Advance. Do we expect to get any of these classic games coming to the Nintendo Switch anytime soon? And that's the big question. We're going to get Pokemon Stadium 1 and Pokemon Stadium 2, two big fan favorites. And of course, I expect them to probably at least one of them to get announced on Pokemon Day because we've already had GoldenEye, which was one of the titles announced alongside Pokemon Stadium 1 and 2 when they got confirmed that they were coming to the Nintendo Switch. So you would expect that that game that's already been out for about a few weeks that these games are kind of ready to be introduced to the Switch Online service. Now whether or not they'll do both at the same time is up in the air or whether we'll get any at all of course we might not get them for a little while now but it would make sense to have a big announcement on Pokemon Day and the integration to have something like that on the Nintendo Switch after let's say the Pokemon Direct that we're going to get on Pokemon Day it makes sense because it would get the community involved a little bit more with these facilities on the Nintendo Switch and keep the kind of hype going for the franchise in general now like i said we're putting two and two together here this video is very speculatory uh, this is all speculation but it does lead me to think the announcement of the game boy and game boy advance it would make sense that we are going to get at least one or multiple pokemon games coming to the nintendo switch and it also makes sense that none of these games were announced of course if there's any big announcements coming relating to pokemon they're all going to be kept for a Pokemon Direct, which Pokemon, you know, they don't really integrate themselves in Nintendo Directs. They hold their own, which are Pokemon Directs. And with a, the biggest one potentially coming for the entire year on Pokemon Day in a little under two weeks time, it makes sense for Pokemon to say, well, hold off, we'll not announce anything here. We want to announce it on our platform on our day and then get the hype going that way. So that's why I'm thinking that with the announcement of these older consoles, which primarily are renowned for the Pokemon games, the classic games, you know, the red, blue, yellow, the gold, silver, crystal, and the GBA games as well, for them to at least announce one title on Pokemon Day that will be available on these new platforms that we've now got access to. And just to reiterate the point, the games that have been announced for the Game Boy so far are classic titles, all classic titles. You've got Tetris, obviously Mario Land 2, you've got Zelda, Link's Awakening, you've got Metroid, Lone in the Dark, Kirby's Dream Land, so some big titles. And then we got teased with upcoming games. Now, Pokemon Trading Card Game did get announced as an upcoming game, but it isn't a main series title, so I would say... If that's an argument against our oh, Pokemon Red, Blue and Yellow aren't coming, then I would say, well, the trading card game isn't a game free title. It had other developers and isn't a main series title either. So I feel like it wouldn't fall into the bracket of being something that Game Freak Pokemon Company would say, let's keep that for our Direct rather than just allowing Nintendo to include it in their Direct is something else for fans to look forward to like we've kind of seen on the Direct that we've just had. But like I say, a bunch of games here that have been announced and nothing to do with any Pokemon games at all, which is kind of weird because, you know, when you think of these consoles, one of the first things, especially I think of, is definitely Pokemon when I think of the Game Boy and Game Boy Advance. Pokemon titles are definitely 
in the top three of all the games that I think about on these consoles. So it's strange not to have anything announced as the kind of launch titles for these consoles in particular. As we come down to the Game Boy Advance, we've got Super Mario uh, Advance 4, Mario Brothers 3, we've got Legend of Zelda again. You know, the big hitters are here. We've got some games that are teased as well, some big hitters again. You've got Fire Emblem, you've got F-Zero, uh, Maximum Velocity, Kirby and the Amazing Mirror, but again, no Pokemon for either of these consoles. And this is what makes me think that we're going to get something on Pokemon Day because there's just literally nothing there. And then we come to the Nintendo 64, of course. We've had all these titles already. It's been integrated. The port has been on the Switch for a little while now. And we already know that Pokemon Stadium and Pokemon Stadium 2 are lined up to this facility. You know, I don't know whether we're going to get Pokemon Stadium and Pokemon Stadium 2 at the same time. It would make sense that they would kind of drip feed them one after the other. We get Pokemon Stadium, then maybe a month later, two months later, we get Pokemon Stadium 2. It keeps the interest there, you know, it keeps it fresh. People play Pokemon Stadium, get that nostalgia. Players that haven't played it get a chance to play it. And then we get Pokemon Stadium 2 before potentially a DLC drop or something like that, just to kind of keep the cogs moving in the whole Pokemon franchise on the Switch. And it makes sense if we do get something else, like the original games, like Pokemon Red, Blue and Yellow and things like that. And just to, for context as well, we can have a look and see what games are actually going to be available on these consoles. So for the Game Boy, we're going to have potentially Red, Blue and Yellow. Don't know whether they'll do yellow. I mean, it's a big fan favorite. It would make sense for them to port it in. And then Gold, Silver, Crystal. They're going to be Game Boy ones in Game Boy Color. And we've seen the facilities as well on the Game Boy port on the Switch, where you're going to be able to change between classic Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Light kind of screens, overlays that you're going to be able to play these games on. So, so there's no restrictions on having a Game Boy Color game on, on the Game Boy. So we're going to have all of these games potentially. And I mean, you could even say, a big curveball would be getting Pokemon Green, something that we've never really had released officially in the West here. It's only a Japanese release, so it'd be nice to see that get a release on the, the, the store and have maybe red, green and blue and then throw in yellow as well. But I'm probably hoping for a bit too much here. And then on the Game Boy Advance, we're going to have Ruby Sapphire, Fire Red and Leaf Green, which are incredible games and Pokemon Emerald as well, which again is another huge fan favorite. We've got some amazing games to potentially look forward to and you would hope with this platform that's now on the Switch that Pokemon are thinking about integrating these games in. Surely they are. The eShop is closing soon. So, you know, the integration of these games onto the Switch, onto the Switch Online service, it gives Nintendo a, a better pulling power as well for people to get the Switch Online membership and use it because you're going to have these games which have hours of fun in. And there's also the possibility, if you do get these games on your Nintendo Switch, there might be a function where you can play through these games and then port the Pokemon to Pokemon Home. And then from there, you can move them into Pokemon Scarlet, making it a very easy transition for getting Pokemon in these old titles to the brand new ones, which is going to be actually really incredible and way less clunky than going and finding Pokemon Bank and all the other methods that you have to do with these old games to trade. Pokemon from generations one and two and three, all the way up to Pokemon Scarlet, you know? so. That would be a really good integration. The only thing I'm a little sad about is in the Pokemon Stadium trailers, they did say that no Pokemon can be traded into those games. And in the original games, obviously you had the expansion pack that you plugged into your N64 controller and you put your cartridge into that, your Game Boy cartridge, and then you could transfer your Pokemon from your games into Pokemon Stadium or Stadium 2. And then you could battle with them in Stadium. And it was amazing. But And that was something that I was thinking, oh, that could be a possibility if, if they bring the Game Boy the Game Boy Advance, they could have a way for you to play these older games on your Switch and then port the Pokemon from those into Stadium, but it doesn't look like that is going to be a possibility at all. But let me know what you think. I could be completely wrong here, but I'm just trying to piece things together that would make sense and be a big, big deal if something like this was announced on Pokemon Day as well. And everyone would love it, I feel as well, having access to these older classic titles on your Switch getting them announced on Pokemon Day and have them available that day to play as well. Or even if they just tease them saying coming soon, uh, especially for some of the other titles like the GBA titles, you could imagine them maybe announcing red, blue and yellow on Pokemon Day and then saying that Gold, Silver, Crystal's coming soon. And then you're going to have Fire Red, Leaf Green coming soon or, you know, vice versa, mixing it up a bit just to say that 
these titles are coming. It just seems strange that there's such big titles on these consoles and nothing was announced in the Nintendo Direct, but it makes sense because anything that would have been announced would be held back for that Pokemon Direct that we're gonna get on Pokemon Day with all of the big news that we're expecting to get regarding DLCs and other platforms and games that we've got in the Pokemon franchise. So let me know what you think. Like I say, I am hoping I am gonna be right. If I was to put my money on anything, I'd say we're gonna get Pokemon Stadium 1 and we're gonna get, fingers crossed, red, blue, and yellow ported in on the Game Boy on Pokemon Day, and then we'll get teased with the other ones. Who knows, we might get the whole package. They might just say, there we go, they're all there, all ready for us to play and get involved and use. And then hopefully as well, there will be compatibility between anything that we get on the Game Boy and Game Boy Advance with Pokemon Home to make it easier to play through these games. It gives you an incentive as well to play them so you can port Pokemon from these into Pokemon Home to get them into your copy of Pokemon Scarlet or Sword and Shield or whatever you want to do but it makes sense and I'm very excited about it and uh, I think that these games will definitely be coming to the Nintendo Switch but nothing's been confirmed like I say it's just speculation at this point but I wanted to put a video out especially off the back of the news that we got earlier in the week from the Nintendo Direct now we've got these consoles on the Switch and it's very exciting anyway because some of the old classics are returning easy to play on your switch now and it is exciting and lots more exciting games coming of course so thank you so much for tuning in friends have a great rest of your day i look forward to reading through the comments and i will see you all in another video very soon so until then take care of yourselves and bye bye